What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with the brand new all-terrain bike from fatmoto.com. This one, the word says it all, it's more for off-roading. We get the four inch wide tires. And this one also comes with new racks and a totally new color, which is the gray with the red emblems. And it came via FedEx and it took about four days to arrive. So that was quite fast. And over here we have the motor uh, separately and as you guys know already I provided a tutorial on how to assemble the fat motor rover which is the same thing with the exception of the racks but you need to uh, make sure that uh, you follow that video for assembly purposes and now it comes ready out of the box you don't need to do anything else just do the uh, regular assembly and nothing else is required which is great they made it a lot easier more like a ready to ride bike so I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the box already and assemble it because again I have done the assembly portion of it before the link has been provided down below so that way you guys can see exactly what I did and then we're gonna see what it looks like Alright guys, only if the rain will let me do my thing here. It's been raining all day long, but here we have the Fat Moto and we can already observe right here the nice gray color with the red emblems written on it or the red logos. Uh, here we have those fat tires. Look at that. They look like actual uh, street tires as well. So again, all terrain. So it works for pretty much anything and the back already comes assembled just like with the first fat motor rover and we can see the rear disc brake right here we have a different stand this time check this out they upgraded the stand wow i didn't know about this part you can see it right here it comes already welded to the frame instead of having it here like it used to be so now you can actually upgrade it and replace it easier if you need to do so I did notice maybe it's me I'm not sure but I think here the um, the uh, jack shaft this one is a little bit smaller so I think it's gonna give us better top end speed I, I don't know yet we will have to test it I see the same welds as before so let me unwrap this thing and we do have here the rear rack already uh, pre welded and I guess this is just a bolt-on it came with this box as well so inside here we're gonna have things like the seat and some tools as well or not tools but um, uh, some bolts and stuff that we need in order to assemble this again just like the first fat moto rover five minutes later all right so here we have some progress on the fat moto all-terrain I got the front rack installed it's really easy you have two 15 millimeter bolts that holds the tire in place together with the retaining clip so you first install the retaining clip after installing the tire then you install here the support for the front rack and then you do the same thing here for the other side so make sure that you get uh, two ratchets and I have here uh, a bigger one and a standard one and they both have the 15 millimeter sockets and then you also need a 10 millimeter socket with a 10 millimeter wrench so what you do is first you install the supports as well as the mounting bolt right here this is a 10 millimeter and I will suggest that you do not use a screwdriver it is better to use a socket again 10 millimeter size and then the last thing you want to do is uh, tighten these two uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts I know it's kind of hard to see it here but you have two 10 millimeter bolts with a nut and that's when you're going to need that wrench that 10 millimeter wrench make sure that you get these tight you have two on each side and that's uh, pretty much all it takes so there we go we had the front rack all set up and ready to go the rear rack is actually easier than the front rack to install because we have dedicated 8 millimeter bolts for it so you don't have to remove the one here for the wheel and the same thing goes here for the upper side of it so as you guys can tell it's just a plug and play scenario and the bolts come already uh, pre-loctited so you don't have to worry about adding any liquids or anything of that matter and on the other side same thing just a repetition a millimeter bolt right there and another a millimeter bolt right here that's it 
a few moments later. All right, guys. So here we have the Fat Moto All Terrain ready to go, fully assembled, and that took roughly about 25 minutes or less to get it all set up. And the cool part is that now all the bolts come already with Loctite, so you guys don't have to worry about anything coming loose. Make sure that you adjust your brakes as I show you guys on the previous video, which again has been provided down below. Just make sure that uh, it is properly aligned by checking your bolts back here. Basically, the way I do it is that I like to have the same amount of thread count on each side. So if you look at this bolt and you look at the other bolt, they both have the same amount of threads count. So the frame is actually built quite precisely. So if you guys keep this at around the same uh, length as the other one, you should be okay with the alignment. And everything else is just, like I said, a plug and play. Install your motor. It requires four bolts. You got here your fuel line with a little clamp right here. Make sure that's uh, put in place correctly as well. I've used this now for about a week or so and it is a very cool little bike it handles a lot better now on the road and something that you guys want to do and check is your tires they need to be seated in correctly and there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do this the way I did it is that I deflated the tire then added soap on the inner side of the rim walls and on the tire as well and basically what you want to achieve is that your tire doesn't jump, you know, doesn't have that bulge effect when you spin it. You want to make sure that it rotates nice and smoothly because otherwise if you leave it like that, it is not really a safety hazard but it will cause a very uncomfortable ride. So make sure that you, um, again, check on your tires. This is only if it's needed but that's a very easy fix, nothing to worry about. Everything else on the bike, like I said, is very well built and now i'm about to show you guys here a little ride and i'll be right back
Well guys, there we have it for that quick testing and as you guys witness this thing can do with the governor bypass alone it can do close to 30 32 miles an hour there's a lot of upgrades that you can do as well like the rear sprocket if you decrease that maybe to a 38 it'll give you about 35 40 miles an hour also the cool part about having fat tires is that off road on this thing is a lot better in the sense that you don't get stuck as much as you do with standard tires all in all, I have to say that so far, based on my experience with motorized bikes and the way this thing is built, it's 100% worth it. I don't regret it a bit. This engine, this is a Lifen 79cc engine, does last a long time with the proper maintenance. And again, if you guys have any questions on the maintenance itself or on any assembly part of the bike, Make sure to check out that video that I already completed, which is down in the description below. And it will answer most likely all of your questions. I do have timestamps written on the description of that particular video. And something cool that I forgot to mention here that Fat Moto did is that now they added spacers. You can tell right here that I have this bolt on. And there's a spacer there so that there's a gap here between the engine block and the clutch cover and that allows for air to go through and it makes it so that your clutch doesn't get as hot causing premature failure so again that's a very cool thing that they did observe and they corrected and the rest like I said is just about the same with the exception of the fat tires which is really cool and the racks with this being said let me know down below what you guys think about the fat moto all-terrain Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.